last night <laughs> in very colorful fashion in our gathering, our reception, as we honor in one of the inner positions breaks out, flies to the west. They don't close in on that formation. It shows the lack of an airplane in one of the inner positions, and that is the missing man. Having flown west okay. into the sunset, meeting up. Joining the two P-38s are the single-engine Mustang fighter, the United States Army Air Corps. This was before the United States Air Force was born. So you listen to the P-38s, the first one in the Olive Drab, 23 Skidoo, that plane actually based here during World War II. You hear that quiet sound, it's like making the sound V and blowing air through your lips. It's because the Allison engines are muffled. That is a sweet sound. Now when the P-51s take off with the Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, they have short exhaust stacks. It was an hour to hear the difference in the sound. Two of the rare P-38 still flying. Twin boom, twin engine aircraft. Again, over your left shoulder, the second of the P-38 Lightnings. Tested by the famed test pilot and racer, Tony LeVere. Designed by Clarence Kelly Johnson of the famed Lockheed Skunk Works, Burbank, California. North of ladies and gentlemen, and vehicles, and fuel or ammunition dumps. Coming back in and strafing with their last bit of bullets before going back to their allied base. Doing everything they could to be able to end the war quickly. The aircraft in the air will be entertaining us all throughout the war. They launched hundreds of miles farther out to sea than they had planned. The raid on the enemy homeland resulted in very little damage. However, the Emperor and the Admirals had assured their citizens they would be safe on their island home. Doolittle's raid forced a change in the enemy's defensive plan and headed for German and Japanese targets, and production was still accelerating. President Roosevelt's unbelievable prediction had been exceeded by 50%. The Axis was engaged in the sea of war production. Hitler and the Jets, the Mustang, P-51 Mustang. It teamed up with the airplane coming in that was based here during World War II, the P-38 Lightning, and teamed up with that third airplane, the big, round, and heavy P-47 Thunderbolt. All had young people who have not seen the designs or heard the sounds of World War II. And this is what it was like. Plains of Fame Museum, Chino, California, soon to be up here with the enhancement program. Maintaining their Chino location and expanding as we deconflict the traffic with the two P-51 Mustangs coming in. Two of the Approximately 16,000 that were manufactured in two different locations by North America Aviation. 